have each other to be thankful for ever since the final rose was handed out in the most dramatic rose ceremony ever. Please welcome Bachelor Bob and Estella. Well, I'm very glad to meet you, too. You know, I've, I've been following the whole thing from day one, and I've been talking to Bob, of course, every Wednesday, and, and I, was, I was wrong all the way. <laughs> Completely wrong. I'm glad you were. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm happy for you. Y'all seem really... And then it, all of a sudden, I saw it happen, and I told him over the... I said, the way... He kisses you, even though he made out with it. He tried to make out with me, by the way. Um, but uh, I did. I did. Yeah, but but it just seems like you two are really uh, good good together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you now, very now much. when can now you can talk about it? When did you know that it was uh, really strong? Um, like I, I said it before, it really is when I put his hand on my breast. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Yeah. Just kidding. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah. No. That, but, was, that was not in the show we saw. <laughs> that was the first night. Uh -huh. That was the fantasy suite. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was actually, it was, <laughs> it was when my, um, we had my hometown date with my mom. Right. And he met, he met my mom, and it was just the, the way he made her laugh. And she had told me that he made her laugh the way my father did. Right. And she was just really excited and happy. So that was really, I think, the turning point for me. And then that must have been hard that he's dating all these other women and now you're knowing, okay, this isn't just kind of fun and here's a great guy, but I now really want this to happen. Yeah. I mean, and then you, and you all, Kelly Jo was here the other day and she said she really likes you and you all get along, but that's still really hard to be friends with somebody who's dating this guy that you really like. Yeah, you know what, it was weird because... You would think that you, would, you never would be friends with someone that was dating your boyfriend, but in the house, <laughs> I mean, I'm friends with all of them, but, <laughs> but when I was um, in the house, um, the girls were so great, it was hard not to be friends with them. Mm -hmm. Kelly Jo, Meredith was in, amazing. Most of them were great. Yeah. <laughs> Except for one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I liked her. Yeah, you well, loved her. You didn't like her. Yeah. <laughs> really? I like Leanne. Yeah. I do. I think she's great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Good times, she good was times. Fun. She was fun. All right. Yes. <laughs> and so, and now, how was that for you to know, okay, I'm having feelings, then I have to still follow through with this because it's a show and yeah. I have to be with these other people. I can't give it away. I have to act like I'm maybe interested in uh, to lead everybody to do what you did, which I is know. we were confused. It's hard. Well, I mean, every season, sooner or later, we're going to all catch on that. You know, they always kind of edit it to go towards one person when mm -hmm. it's the other person. I, I fall for it every year, too. I'm like, wow, I... I guess I did pick Kelly Jo. Yeah. I didn't know. You know I, I was watching, I'm like, holy smokes. But it, it is yeah. amazing, you know, they always do it, we always fall for it, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think um, it, it was hard for me because I felt like in every situation, I, I knew how I felt uh, about Estelle and I knew how I felt about Kelly Jo and I did truly care about both of them a lot. And um, as it came down to the final two and I took them home to meet my family and, you know, every single step of the way, I was just always like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? You know, where am I at? I'm going to hurt somebody. I'm going to hurt myself. You know, and I, it just got more and more, you know, kind of like compounding on top of one another as to where I was going to be with things. And so in the end, um, obviously, I chose Estella. And thankfully, she accepted the ring that I gave her. Can and, see the ring? Uh, yeah, it's That's pretty. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. Now, you're wearing it on your right hand because there's no, it's a, it's a promise to, to go forward with, figuring this out. Yeah, I, I felt at that moment um, I wasn't ready to be engaged, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I hadn't been able to date her when I wasn't dating her friends. I hadn't been able to date her when I wasn't in front of a TV right. camera. I wanted to see what would happen when the cameras were off. Well, we, we uh, look forward to uh, letting you have that time because it's, it's a very weird thing to go through this whole process and everybody judging it and figuring out and if it's going to last and all and, and all of a sudden you're not, you're just regular people who are dating and you're on all these you know, on television all the time. So right. I'm sure you're looking forward to finding out what it's like without Definitely. that. We, uh, do we have a gift for them? It's always on the side. I should learn. Um, wow. So we're going to give you this uh, Kodak. Uh, it's, a, it's a digital camera because I can't follow you around anymore. So um, I'd like you to take pictures and send us, uh, you know, and you're going to Tristan Ryan's wedding. We'll send you some pics. S send me some pictures of what's going on. And uh, congratulations. I'm glad that you two are happy. And thanks for being yeah. with us. Thank you very All much. All right. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.